Hi, Mark here, Managing Director of All My Systems, helping companies grow by sorting out their business systems properly. This week on AMS TV, I'm going to show you three practical steps to help you get GDPR compliance. Number one, get staff involved. Train your staff in what GDPR means to them and to your customers. Our previous videos will give you a head start, so start there to begin with. Choose someone to be a data controller who will oversee data security and requests. Now in small businesses we might not have the luxury of having a full-time data controller position. It doesn't have to have that though. It can be someone in your business which can have that responsibility. And that's something that you should really think carefully about because it's a key role within the business. Write a privacy policy and make sure your staff are familiar with it. It's really important and we're good at putting these on our websites, but actually an internal privacy policy around information security is really, really important. Train your staff on it. If you want to, get some expert advice in as well. There's lots of stuff on the internet, but it might be well worth having a half day information security consultant come in on board and help you with your privacy policy. Number two, run a data audit. Ask yourself some simple questions. Do you know all the ways data comes into your organization's systems from networking, lead generation, websites, however it might come in, identify all of those different sources that data comes in. Do you know exactly where this is all stored? Paper, electronic, if it's electronic, is it on your own servers? Is it in cloud-based systems? Which cloud-based system? What happens when that cloud-based system gets backed up? Does your data stay in the UK? Does it go elsewhere? Really no thread to needle where your data is stored. Do you know exactly who has access to your data? Who in your business can access it? If you've had some levers, are you sure that their credentials have been stopped and their access to your system has been revoked? It's a very, very common problem that businesses have and it's just to make sure that you're really watertight on who has access to your data. Do you share data with third parties? Any companies or partnerships that you've got relationships with that you may pass data to and forth, just really get to grips with, with who you're giving what to. Maybe document it and have some processes in place so you understand what they're going to do with the data once you hand it over. Can you show how you obtained um, each contact on your database? What was the source? Were they informed? Did they opt in? And you can store all that data against contact records nowadays, so it's really key to make sure you've got that in place. Review your data retention policy. Why are you keeping data? How long do you keep it for? Can you justify why you're keeping data for a certain amount of time? We're very, very comfortable with doing this with financial data and other personal records, but actually are we doing it for the right types of records for GDPR? Finally, test your procedures. Number three, run real world scenarios. How can you be sure that your data protection policies and your GDPR compliance is robust until you test it? It's like backups of your systems. Until you restore the backup, you don't know whether your backup's any good or not. So picture yourself as a, a member of the public asking to see all of the data you hold about an individual. Can you turn it around quickly? Picture that you're a member of the public asking to be forgotten, the right to be forgotten. Can you easily erase the information from your um, data and all of your sources of data in your business whilst retaining a stub of a record? Just make sure that you don't contact that person once again in the future without meaning to. And finally, the big one. There's been a data breach, what do you do? Really go to town on this one. Just make sure that if a data breach happens, however it might be, that you've got processes in place and they're tested for how to deal with that scenario. Once you've got these three important procedures set up, create reminders to audit your system. Put a, a recurring calendar appointment in every month, every two months, quarterly, whatever it needs to be for your business. It's going to be different business to business. But just make sure that you keep on top of it so you don't forget. And you can go back to focusing on the running of your business and growing a successful business at that. So if you think this could help your business and sort your systems out properly, please get in touch and request your free business systems audit. I hope that's been useful and we'll see you on the next AMS TV. Bye for now.